31 days. Rain or shine, you see today it was rain. And actually in Italy, the worst that can happen on the evening is that the rain will fall here and you will go find some uh, cover. But what is happening in Ukraine, what falls in Ukraine are missiles. Missiles launched by Russia. And when missiles fall, people don't just need to find cover, but they need to look for bomb shelter. Yesterday, Russia launched around 50 missiles on Ukrainian territory. All over Ukraine were air raids alarms, air raid sirens. Russia targeted critical civilian infrastructure, causing blackouts in cities. And many of my friends in Kyiv had to sit for 10 hours or more without electricity. And no, it doesn't look any romantic like you put on candles or something. Okay, you put on candles for one hour and then what do you do? Because your phone connection sucks when there is no electricity because also the the stations of the phone operators they don't give you data connection when there is no electricity they give you just basic phone connectivity you cannot work okay you might have laptop which is charged but for how long can you use it few hours there is no heating and if you have water which is heated by electrical geyser you cannot you don't have also hot water and i can tell you in ukraine in some areas the temperatures in the morning are around zero now it's not like here it's not warm anymore so what russia is doing is basically a genocide because not only this is a war crime to target civilian infrastructure such as power plants hydraulic plants also by the way people were sitting without water for, for some hours because russia also targeted water infrastructure so not only this th those are war crimes but on such scale this is definitely genocide and luckily no, well not luckily but because it, it was due to mastery of our air defense force 44 out of those nearly 50 missiles were shot down by our air defense and this saved some lives but you need to also understand when missile is shot also there are remains of it falling down and they also cause destruction they might cause also uh, deaths of people if people happen to be there so we stand here to tell you about this because you might have been busy yesterday with Halloween. Hello, I'm Slava. Thank you. You might have been busy yesterday with Halloween and thinking, okay, where is my costume? I need to dress my kids and they will go to collect sweets. But for us, we don't afraid of the witches, of skeletons. The only thing which is really scary is living next to Russia. And the other thing which is scary is when people are indifferent to it. When people are indifferent to war which is happening in the middle of Europe. And when people ignore that. Because I believe each of us can do little thing to impact this war. This can be sharing information. Already the fact that you stand here and listen and thank you very much for that already is changing because you will hear our message and maybe you lost it in the news because there are a lot of things happening around the world you will talk about it you will come to your friends and you will say you know what I have seen yesterday or today earlier on Duomo Square in Milan I've seen Ukrainians which are standing for 251 days, no matter what the weather is, to tell their story. And we stand here because we know that our armed forces are standing for our lives, for our freedom, 
for our independence, for our existence on the front line. And they're standing also defending our sky. So the least we can do is to tell you about that and to ask you to help as well to stand with us to amplify our voice by sharing our message, to ask your governments, your politicians, to give help to Ukraine, to give help with arms, with weapons, because we cannot stop those missiles just with bare hands, to give air defense systems so we can tomorrow shut down not the 44 out of 50 missiles, but perhaps all of them and save more people's life and save more in infrastructure.